Have you ever heard of a time when fashion was taken to the extreme, even by royalty? Welcome to the Middle Ages, a time in which medieval royalty followed the most bizarre fashion trends. From bizarre footwear to tights for men, get ready to learn more about these crazy fashion fads. Henan Hats First up, we have the Henan Hat. This was a tall hat, often decorated with feathers and gems, that was popular among medieval royalty. It was so tall that it often required the wearer to hold it up with their hand. It could be up to 80 centimeters in length. Can you imagine trying to walk around with a hat that tall? It must have been quite a sight to see. The Henan hat was a popular headwear for women in the late Middle Ages, particularly in the 15th century. There were four types of Henan hats that were typically worn. The high-pointed steeple cone, the flower pot Henan, the butterfly Henan, and the heart-shaped Escoffian. The headwear was characterized by its conical shape, high crown, and veil. It was typically shaped like a cone, with a tall and narrow point at the top and a wider base. The height of the crown could vary, but it was often quite tall. The hat was often paired with a trailing veil that fell down the back or the sides of the hat, creating a dramatic and elegant look. The popularity of the Henan hat declined in the 16th century as styles shifted towards wider and more decorative headwear. However, the Henan hat continues to be remembered as an iconic piece of fashion from the medieval period and is often depicted in paintings, sculptures, and tapestries from that era. Krakows or Poulains Next, we have the Krakows or Poulains, a type of long-toed shoe worn by both men and women. These shoes were often extended several inches beyond the wearer's toes. The shoes were named after the city of Krakow in Poland. Krakows were a symbol of wealth and status and were often worn by nobles and members of the upper classes. The reason for this was that the long pointed toes required a lot of fabric and were difficult to make. Despite their popularity, the shoes were also seen as impractical and were often criticized for being too difficult to walk in and to perform daily activities. In the late 14th century, the church began to view the long pointed toes of Krakows as a symbol of vanity and decadence and they were banned by the Council of Constance in 1414. This ban led to the creation of shorter, more practical styles of footwear, and the popularity of Krakows declined. Today, Krakows are occasionally worn for reenactments of historical events. They are also sometimes used as inspiration for contemporary fashion, with modern designers creating updated versions of the classic style. Below the below was a type of flowing dress that was worn by medieval royalty. This dress was often made from luxurious fabrics and was heavily embroidered. It was meant to showcase the wealth and status of the wearer, but it also made it quite difficult to move around. The 12th and 13th centuries saw a rise in the popularity of below, which was usually made from expensive materials like silk or fine wool. The below was defined by its broad flowing neckline and long flowing sleeves. It was usually worn with tight-fitting leggings or hoses and a belt at the waist to accentuate the waist. The below was frequently covered with beautiful needlework or trim. The below was an important garment in the courtly fashion of the Middle Ages and was often worn to special events and ceremonies. Tights For the men, they had tights. Yes, you heard that right. Medieval men wore tights, often decorated with patterns and embroidery. These tights were meant to show off their legs and were often worn with short tunics. Medieval men, especially those of the nobility and the upper classes, did wear tights or hoses. These were form-fitting leg coverings that were often made from a blend of wool and silk. They were also often brightly colored and patterns and embellishments were added for decoration. The wearing of tights went out of fashion in the late Middle Ages but made a resurgence in the Renaissance period. Coifs a coif is a type of close-fitting cap that was worn by both men and women in the Middle Ages. It used to cover the head and neck and was often worn as an undergarment beneath a hat or hood. The material used for coifs varied depending on the social status and wealth of the person wearing it. For everyday wear, coifs were often made from simple and inexpensive materials such as linen or wool. But for more formal occasions or for those of higher social status, Coifs could be made using finer and more luxurious materials like silk or satin. In terms of differentiation between coifs worn by the general population and those worn by the royalty, there were often differences in the quality and type of materials used, as well as the level of embellishment. 
royal coifs were often heavily decorated with embroidery, lace, and other embellishments. On the other hand, coifs worn by the general population were typically simpler and more functional. Veils, Wimples, and Gorgets Veils, wimples, and gorgets were all articles of clothing that were worn by women in the Middle Ages. A veil is a covering made of cloth that is worn over the head and face to conceal the hair in the face, either for modesty or weather protection. Veils might be affixed to a cap or a headdress and were often made from airy materials like silk, linen, or cotton. A headdress that covered the shoulders, neck, and head was known as a wimple. It was usually made from a rectangular piece of fabric that was wrapped around the head and neck and held in place by a band or headband. During the late Middle Ages, noble women and members of the royal family frequently wore wimples. The gorget was a neck piece of clothing that was frequently worn for decoration. It was frequently adorned with needlework, gems, or other ornaments, and might be created from a variety of materials including silk, velvet, or metal. For women in the Middle Ages, especially those of high social standing, veils, wimples, and gorgets were essential pieces of apparel, crafted with the best materials and embellished with the most intricate details. For example, regal women would wear a gorget made of velvet and embellished with fine embroidery, or a wimple made of silk and embellished with gold thread and gems. Overall, Veils, wimples, and gorgets were significant pieces of clothing for royal women since they could serve as a signal of their affluence and were frequently used to produce a dramatic and attractive appearance. Camel Hair Coats Camel hair coats were another outrageous fashion fad during the Middle Ages. They were a preferred purchase for the medieval aristocracy. These jackets, which were worn to represent wealth and prestige, were manufactured from camel fur. Can you imagine how warm it must have been to wear a coat made of camel hair? An article of outwear known as a camel hair coat is created from the hair of the Bactrian or two-humped camel. A popular material for cold weather apparel, camel hair is prized for its softness, warmth, and toughness. This unique light tan hue of camel hair coats, which is a natural tone of the animal's hair, is what makes them so well known. Usually, the hair is woven into a silky, opulent fabric that is used to create jackets and other apparel. The insulating qualities of camel hair, which make it perfect for keeping warm in cold conditions, are one of its main advantages. It also naturally resists water, so it can shield you from snow and rain. The hair also adds to the coat's beauty and sophistication because of how comfortable and attractively it may drape due to its soft and silky texture. Peacock Feather Hats Finally, we have hats made of peacock feathers. These hats were designed to display the wearer's prosperity and position and were created from peacock feathers. They might have grown many feet tall and were frequently fairly huge. Since ancient times, the feathers with their vivid blue and green iridescence have been appreciated for their beauty and distinctive appearance in millinery and design. These are only a few examples of the bizarre dress fads that the medieval nobility adopted. These fashion decisions, such as tall hats and long-toed shoes, were intended to make a statement and highlight the wealth and rank of the wearer. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the bizarre fashion fads of medieval royals. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on history and fashion. Until next time, see you soon!